Hey guys, welcome back. Like I said in the last video, you know what I said, right? I said that I'd make a project to explain the events, the looks, the motion blocks. Most of the blocks we learned so far. So, I was thinking, what project could I do? But, I remembered the story my grandmother told me. The turtle and the hare. I really liked it when my grandmother said it. So, the moral of the story is, slow and steady wins the race and do not underestimate your opponents. So, that's what happened. The rabbit underestimated, didn't know slow and steady wins the race, and the turtle won the race. I'm not going to tell you any more details because I don't want to spoil it. And the most fun thing of them all is I recorded my voice and my brother Aditya was in it. It was so fun. Me and Aditya combined it and made our voices. My brother used his voice at, for the turtle and I used the voice for the hair. Uh, you know I made a video about recording sounds so I wanted to add that as well. We used lots and lots of blocks. The most of the blocks we learned already. So this was a really fun project me and my brother made. And I hope you guys can think of an idea too. So let's get into it. Hey guys. So before we get in more depth in the code, let me run for you once. So let me full screen it. Okay. I am faster than everyone. You are slow, slow. Ha, ha, ha. You can be faster, but somebody can always beat you. You and I can. Let's have a race. You think you can beat me? Ha, 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 ha. You are definitely going to lose. Hmm, I teach him a lesson. <laughs> Let the race begin. Turtle can't win, so I'll take a break. And Turtle's gonna go and win while Rabbit's sleeping. Turtle passes Rabbit. Turtle's still going. He's gonna hit the race finish line before Rabbit does. I, I win. Turtle's the winner. Hey, Mr. Rabbit, I won. Wake up! No way! How did you win? I won because the Lord said you were the place. And you understood me. Yep. So, slow and steady wins the race. Never underestimate people. And slow and steady always wins the race. Okay, guys. Let me get into the code. So, well, I'll tell you which sprites I used. I used the turtle, I used the hare, and just for fun, I used the referee to start the game, start the race, I mean, and the finish line. And I used a few backdrops too. Oops, uh, so, this is the woods background that we used when they race in. This is the forest background I used where they talk. And then this is the title background, like the turtle and the hare story. Let's show the code in the turtle now. There's lots of event blocks and looks blocks I used. So I'll explain some of the event blocks. The first one, the most important one, I use this in every single project I've created, the when green flag clicked. So as you can see, I used switch backdrop two blocks, or when switch backdrop two blocks. These are all event blocks, just so you know. There is when I receive blocks and broadcast message blocks. Those are the main blo event blocks I used. So when I put the one green flag clicked, it says switch backdrop to title. Title is this backdrop. And I made it wait so it doesn't immediately pop up in forest. So the next one, once I switch the backdrop to forest, the turtle, it says when backdrop switches to forest, he will switch the costume to turtle one so in costumes turtle one is this costume looking this way so switches its costume to turtle one goes to a specific position 
on the stage and then it shows and after that the same thing happens for the rabbit so the rabbit has when backdrops which is the forest show it will go to a specific space on the stage it will wait a few seconds then it will start a sound it will say I am faster than everyone you are so slow ha 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 and not only showing the text, we also recorded the sounds. I showed you how to record and add sounds and say text in my previous videos. So, and then I added a wait button so it doesn't immediately happen. Then it will broadcast the talk. It's the beginning of the conversation. And then on turtle side, when I receive the talk, it will say start sound one. Adi said that one. And then I'll say, Adi says, you can be faster, but someone can always beat you. Even I can beat you. Let's have a race. And then it will wait. And then it will broadcast the talk too. I'm only adding these weights in between so it doesn't overlap the sounds. So it's basically when I'm putting these broadcasts, it just like swips between sprites. It's like what I mean by that is like the broadcast the talk too. It just goes to the... The hare receives that and then it sends another broadcast to the turtle. Like it go, keeps on going. So then the broadcast the talk to, then Hare Bunny Funny Rabbit. I named it Funny, so um, the um, it receives the talk to. It will start sound fur. That's when I said it will say, You think you can beat me? And then it will start sound two. And the conversation continues and it will broadcast talk. And then it will come back to turtle. And it says, when I receive talk, it will say, I, mm, I teach him lesson. Yep. It will say that. And then it will say, wait two seconds. It won't say that. It will wait two seconds. And then it will broadcast the race starts. The referee receives, when I receive the race starts, say, start sound. Ooh, referee whistle. Then it will say, let the race begin for four seconds. And then it will start another sound, and then it will wait for five seconds, and then it will broadcast a message. And then on Hair Bunny Funny Rabbit, it will receive message right Turtle can't win, so I'll take a break. Here, I used a bit of operators and sensing here, so I haven't talked about them yet, but I'll talk about them in the future videos. But this is basically when the rabbit goes to the tree, and it's also like if it touches the finish line at an port, which it won't. And then the turtle's code. It will say it'll receive message one two. Where is that receive message one? Yep, there. When it receives message one, it will go to a specific position on the stage. The turtle will keep on moving five steps and it will wait 0.5 seconds. Once it moves five steps, it will keep on repeating that until it's touching the finish line. Then if it's touching the finish line, then it will say, I win. And then it will say, hey, Mr. Rabbit, I won. Wake up. And there's also sounds too. And then it will broadcast and talk. And then the hare will re receive it. So and talk right here. So it will say and talk. It will switch to a costume, Rabbit C. Rabbit C is this. It's a top standing up. Here I had the rabbit in different expressions. So I can like... There's the rabbit in a running state. There's the rabbit in a standing state. There's the rabbit in a sleeping state. So the conversation basically continues. And then at the end, the turtle will say, the reason I won is because slow and steady always wins the race. And, oh, sorry, I forgot to tell you about the finish line. The finish line doesn't have much code. So I made this um, finish line by myself using um, the um, draw tool I think I told I told that in my sprite video and I used some sensing blocks in the turtle so it says if touching finish line same with the rabbit I think right there yep. so if it touches that it will end the animation with the end talk conversation I made this animation to show you all how to use the motion blocks the looks blocks the sound blocks the event blocks all the blocks we learned so far. This was also a blast for me and my brother making this project. I hope you guys can make an animation like me. Bye! Hope you subscribe and like this video. Bye!